Working while on PTO. I am the only web guy in our firm and get asked to work on client issues even while on vacation, PTO. It's understandable if it's an emergency production issue, but even for non-production, test environment related issues, when clients reach out, I get called or emailed to address the concern by one inconsiderate coworker. How do you handle this situation? It's a very small company, so, to make the customer happy, policy is followed. Is this scenario common in the industry or should I be drawing boundaries on when I will be available while on PTO with the coworker? It's understandable if it's an emergency production issue. It certainly is not understandable. As online joke goes, PTO stands for prepare the others, as I am not going to be there. I get called or emailed. Don't pick up work calls on PTO, and don't check your work email. If they continue emailing you on personal email, kindly inform them that you are on PTO, and if they insist still, that's what email filters are for. Is this scenario common in the industry or should I be drawing boundaries on when I will be available while on PTO with the coworker? I cannot answer how common it is, but you are the one who has started it by being reachable after work. Good thing is that you can also fix it by enforcing the boundaries. Simply next time they call email offer solution to their issue and inform them that any future emails, calls will only be answered when you are back at work. If you will not respect your time off, neither will your boss or colleague you. This is the only way for businesses to realize that they need to prepare for you being away, and get away from just dumping problems at you, no matter on duty or off. Update. I've read the other answers and I am honestly a bit terrified by the tone which I think is best summarized in this quote. Unfortunately some of us have to live in the real world of underresourced IT departments. I know that if I wasn't prepared to handle a client emergency when on PTO, I wouldn't be at that job very much longer. While I can appreciate where that person and others expressing similar sentiment come from, the bottom line is that lack of redundancy is not something you've caused or is in any way your responsibility. You are an employee of a company, and if they've decided to not have wider coverage, relying on a single person instead, then this is a problem they've caused. Yes, hiring a second person is not cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than having a critical problem with production and no one around to handle it. Would you also feel bad about leaving that job, knowing that there is no one left behind to fix it? I hope you wouldn't, as the savings from not hiring another person went to a not yours pocket. This is ultimately what it boils down to. If with just you the business knows that they can get you to fix it, no matter if you are on vacation, on a date or doing anything that you are not being paid for, then they have no reason to fix that situation. On the other hand, if you create and enforce strict boundaries then they will either have to negotiate with you on call deal i.e., we pay you extra xxx every month, but then if stuff goes down, we expect you to be around to fix it within a reasonable time, or hire, train other people to cover the gaps. The idea of getting your PTO back for just the amount spent working, or getting paid for the time, that gives all the upside to the company, and none for you, they just make you whole, and only when need to. If having reasonable pay for additional duty means you will have to find another job, good, as not being able to properly take a break, instead of having to constantly think about work, monitor email and field phone calls is something that burns people in a matter of years if not months. And that is not how it is in most companies as far as my experience goes, and I've worked with oh so many of them, from tiny startups to thousand people conglomerates.